Hello semua, apa khabar? Previously, we've compared the words ke and ke pada to mean to in Malay. Now this time, we are looking at the word from, which can be either dari or dari pada. So what's the differences between dari and dari pada? Let's start with the word dari. Of course, it means from, but it is used in three main situations, which are in the context of direction, physical location or place, and time. So first of all, in terms of direction, from a certain direction, from west, from north, from the left, from the right. So that's where we use dari. She enters from the back. Dia masuk dari belakang. Dia masuk dari belakang. So that's a direction from the back or from the front, front, dari depan, from north, dari utara. Okay. Second is when from is referring to a physical location or a place. She came from Iran. Dia datang dari Iran. Dia datang dari Iran. So Iran is a country, it is a place. Dia datang dari sekolah. Sekolah is a place or a location. Okay? And third, in the context of time, when we're referring to from a certain uh, point in time, the event will be from 2 o'clock. Majlis tu dari pukul 2. Majlis tu dari pukul 2. So if you want to refer to from 1975, for example, we use dari. Dari 1975. Or dari hari Sabtu, which means from Saturday. Okay? So those are the main three usages of the word dari to mean from. How about dari pada? So, dari pada will be used in other situations outside of direction, physical location, and time. For example, you want to describe the origins of something. Something is made from what? So, from here, we use dari pada. The table is made from glass. Meja tu dibuat dari pada kaca. Meja tu dibuat daripada kaca. So, buat is to make. Dibuat is is made. And kaca is glass. This present is from Alan. Hadiah ni daripada Alan. Hadiah ni daripada Alan. Okay, when you're receiving something from someone... You're referring to daripada someone. So that's the usage of daripada. Or when you're referring to an institution. So it may be a place, but you're referring it as an entity or an institution. For example, he got the dog from the SPCA. Dia dapat anjing tu daripada SPCA. So here, SPCA can be a location, but here, um, SPCA is used as an entity or an institution that gave the dog to this person. He came out from poverty. Dia keluar daripada kemiskinan. Dia keluar daripada kemiskinan. Okay, so the word miskin means poor, 
and we add ke and an prefix and suffix, it converts the word miskin from an adjective to a noun which is poverty. Okay, so daripada is used when you're not referring to a direction, you're not referring to a physical location or a place, and you're not referring to time. So grammatically, you would need to use daripada. But in most cases, if you use dari, people will still understand you. Um, and that's, that's um, in on a daily basis, you will hear people use dari instead of daripada more. Although daripada is grammatically more correct, um, it's not used uh, that much because people would uh, just shorten the word daripada to just dari to refer to from somewhere or from someone. Okay? So for the example, this present is from Alan. If people say, hadiah ni dari Alan. So instead of using daripada, you use dari. People will still understand you. And in real life, this is uh, mostly how people will say it. And we've done this in all of our previous examples and videos. We've used, we've used dari instead of daripada to simplify things. And if you are confused um, to be safe, you can use dari, although people may argue it's grammatically wrong. Okay, uh, the other example, he got the dog from the SPCA so the correct version would be daripada SPCA because here SPCA is an entity or institution. But if you're saying he just returned from the SPCA means that he is coming from a certain direction or he's coming from a certain location, you use dia baru balik dari SPCA. You can't use daripada here because um, it's not referred to as an entity or institution, but rather a location. Okay, that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below.